wait, no, no. I'm literally, my salivating of like a tartar top. Ready, break, breaked, breaded, and I hate when you can see that stupid glitter. Now lastly for clothes, I wanted to talk about, am I, am I in, in, in like, focus? Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're doing a monthly favorites and I don't even know who I am right now. It's March 30th and I'm already filming my March, it's not March, you see? It's May 30th and I'm already filming my May favorites to make sure that I can have it up by June 1st. So I have lots of stuff that I want to talk about today. It's all on my desk, so I made sure to turn my camera just a little bit. There's a lot. I have clothes in here, I have accessories, I have makeup, I have food, duh, I have cleaning supplies, I have a ton of stuff. So if you guys want to see what my favorites were for the month of May, then keep watching. I forgot what it was for a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna work with what's the closest to me, which are accessories. So two of the things that I have been wearing so much have been these two headbands that are from my online boutique. I'm not just talking about them because they're from my boutique. I have just been wearing these, especially this leopard one. Like if you follow me on Instagram, I have worn this a bajillion times. Like I have worn this so much. I took this one with me on my trip to Bimini and I wore this on the beach, I wore this on the ride home. I just, they're so cute and they're such a fun little accessory, especially if you have a really boring outfit on. Like, I love how this looks with all black. Like, a black outfit with like tan or like a really pretty brown shoe. And these are just, I just think that they're the cutest things. We're definitely gonna bring more. We're already sold out of this leopard one, but we still have a couple. I think we have like three or four of the pink one left. And I've already been looking at like other colors, other prints, and all of that. So I just wanted to shout these out because I have been wearing them. Like every time my hair is dirty, I throw one of these in. Like I'll have my hair like this and let's say it's like day three and it still has a slight wave in it. I literally just throw this in and I'm like, boom, my hair is done. I don't have to worry about it. It pulls it out of my face because when my hair is dirty, I do not like my hair in my face. So I just, I'm telling you, I have been wearing the crap out of these and I absolutely love them. These are definitely going to be a summer staple for me like big time okay so next i guess i'll talk about just like beauty skincare makeup favorites i have one skincare favorite that i'm going to talk about because i do use the same skincare for a very long time um none of my skincare has changed oliver's outside of my door trying to get in none of my skincare um has changed at all except i've added this oil to it and if you've been watching me for a long time then you know that like beauty oils are one of my favorite products ever i just feel like they hydrate my skin so much more than anything could ever hydrate me and I used to use, the first oil that I ever used was the Tarte Maracuja oil, right? Maracuja? Yeah. The Maracuja oil and that oil like changed my life and put me on to like all these other oils that I've been trying. I've tried the uh, Marula oil from Drunk Elephant. I've just tried a ton of oils and I like them all. But lately I've been using this Youth to the People, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Makui and Acai Prickly Pear Goji Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Oil. This is a small size that I got from work. I've been using this every single day since I got it. I've had it now for maybe like a month and a half and it's such a thick, rich oil that you need the tiniest amount. So what I'll do sometimes in the mornings, I'll put this on um, and after like maybe 10 minutes, I'll put on my moisturizer or my eye cream and then at night, if I want to use it at night, which I don't normally because I already have an oil that I use at night, but if I don't feel like using that oil and I want to use this one for like a lot of hydration, I'll put this on and mix it in with my nighttime moisturizer and it just makes the skin just feel so good. I love it so much and I love the brand new to the people. It's one of my favorite brands at Sephora. It's the cleanser that I've been using for years that I purchased like 700 times. It is my favorite thing in the entire world. And so uh, my girl Alexa gave me this and she's a skincare rep for the use to the people brand and she was like, try it, you're going to love it and I absolutely love it love it next i want to talk about a lipstick that strangely i've been wearing a lot and this is the ColourPop and shayla quickie lipstick this is what it looks like here it's a really pretty like peachy neutrally nude i've been wearing this so much i got this like i don't even remember when i got this so long ago i used it and then i like forgot it in a purse or something like i don't remember what it was but it was like in either a pocket or a purse and I completely stopped wearing it. Like I completely forgot about it. And then I ended up finding it and I've been wearing it every single time I do a nude lip. Like I have been loving it. Lately I've been wearing this and Velvet Teddy from MAC like crazy. But this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. I don't want to swatch it just because I don't feel like getting my hands dirty. But 
such a pretty pretty nude um, I had it on earlier today and then I just threw a gloss on top and I just it's such a good nude and it's like seven eight dollars I don't even know but it's one of their really really nice collections but it's like their new like luxe lipsticks and I just love this color now I have two palettes to talk about and one of them is a face palette and the other one is an eye palette So I'm going to talk about the eye palette first and it's the Anastasia Riviera palette And if you watch my videos, you know that I've been trying to force myself to use one palette per month every single month And today is the last time that I used this palette for my eyes and I did this like really pretty gold peachy smoky sort of look and I use this palette and I have I just I can't believe how much I enjoyed using this palette like this color yacht right here is the best like bronze color that isn't warm like it's just a neutral bronze these pinks like this one especially Bahamas I've loved and I've worn it so many times the purple is absolutely beautiful this color coastline is the color that I have in my crease and I love it this brown called palm is the most delicious brown like it's not just a regular brown it sounds so weird but I just love all the colors in this I think it is such a beautiful palette I love how many looks I was able to create with this I got colorful looks I got neutral looks like the one that I'm wearing and I'm just honestly shocked that I used this and was able to really enjoy using it as much as I did lastly I want to talk about a color blush trio and this is from Alamar Cosmetics and I actually got this in a BoxyCharm um, I got this, I think, in the May Boxy Charm in the beginning of the month, and this is what the shades look like. I'm actually wearing a combination of the three on my cheeks now, and that's kind of how I've been wearing it. When I was really, really, like, tan, right when I got back from Bimini, I only wore this one, and it gave me the prettiest pink, like, just flush on my cheeks. Like, I'm going to just dab into all three of these now, and I'm just going to put some on. Like, look at how pretty. I feel like it just gives such a nice color. And when you're tan, it's very, very, very hard to find blushes that flatter your skin tone and that show up on you well. And these just show up so well. I think the formula is beautiful. They stay on my cheeks for a long time. I just, I really, really like this. Okay, so a couple of months ago, I showed you guys a like navy blue pajama set that I got at Target that I have been obsessed with. That pajama set has been all I wear so I went to Target and I got another pair and this is the gray set and this is from the same exact brand it's from the stars above brand and it says it's beautifully soft fabric sleepwear I cannot describe to you guys how soft these pajamas are and I love this color so much because it's a really really light gray and it comes with the shorts and I have just been literally alternating the two one night the navy one night the gray one night the navy one night the gray and I got a size medium. Um, I know some people asked in my last video. I got a size medium because I really like, like, I want to be comfortable. So I didn't want anything to fit too tight. The shorts are kind of big on me just because, I mean, you can tell. But they don't hug me anywhere, which is exactly what I want. I don't want to be in tight clothes when I sleep. I don't know about you guys, but I just, I love these so much. So much. I want all of them. They also have robes. Like, I just, I could live in these. If these were an actual, like, clothing item... If I could find these to sell for my store, oh my god. They are just the softest thing ever and I have been obsessed. Lastly for clothing, I want to talk about a pair of denim and these are a pair of my Reformation jeans. These are in the style... These are in the style Serena. These are the Serena High Skinnies and the wash of these is the Lanai. These are the size 28 and this is what they look like and I had like... They were in like the back of my closet. Like I guess like I had folded them up and threw them in the back of my closet. So I forgot that... I had them like I knew that I had them but I didn't know where they were I was cleaning out my closet I did an entire like closet clear out which I have a video of which I'm gonna be posting soon um, and I found the jeans and they had like a couple of like little marks on them so I threw them in the washing machine and then once I got them out I was like I want to wear these jeans and I have worn them like eight times this month like I have worn them so many times I posted them on Instagram which I'll insert a picture here I posted a picture of me wearing them but I love the fit I love the wash they have a little bit of distress but not too much my favorite part of the distress is right here on the pocket. They have some distress here. And when I got these, I mean, like all of my jeans, they fit me too long, which I know that's the problem with most girls. Like, not everybody's like 5'11". Um, so I had cut them. I cut the bottoms of them with my garment scissors. And when I washed them, it made them like really nice and fluffy like this and made the fabrics like falling apart, which I love. Um, so I absolutely love these. I love these so much. They have a nice amount of stretch to them, but not too much to where they look like cheap jeans or like a jegging. So... I just, 
love these jeans so much. This was actually a purchase inspired by my really good friend Desiree and I had posted like a random haul, like a Target, like I went to Target and like Marshalls and Ross and I just bought a whole bunch of stuff and I bought like cleaning supplies and all that and I had started using the Myers, was it the Myers? I haven't even used it. The Myers cleaning spray which I have used the honeysuckle spray and I do like it. But she had actually told me, she was like, oh my god, if you like those, you should try these. And this is the Method Daily Cleaners. And this is the Daily Shower Cleaner. This one is the All-Purpose Surface Cleaner. And then this one is in Bathroom Tub and Tile Cleaner. So I got the three of these mainly because of the scents. They're naturally derived. They have non-toxic plant-based power green technologies. And my favorite one has to be the daily shower cleaner and this is the one that she actually told me specifically about this is in the scent eucalyptus mint which you guys already know that's like my favorite scent to ever exist and what we do like i've been using this like crazy i spray it in my shower either before i get in the shower or after i get in the shower i just like drown my shower in this and i can even tyler he used it one day because there was like a stain or scum or something in the shower from the soap he sprayed it and he said as soon as he turned on the shower the next day the stain was gone like this just keeps it helps maintain your shower without like having to clean it every single day. So you spray this in there and it just helps like, I guess, clean up all of the, any dirt or any buildup that's on there. And when you turn on your shower, it just rinses away. Um, and this one is a non-rinse one. Like it says it, clen it cleanses without having to rinse. So I've just been loving this. I got these on Amazon. I'll link the ones that I got down below. I got the bathroom cleaner, which is in eucalyptus mint as well because you guys already know so I use this on my toilet I use this on like the silverware like the hardware of the bathroom I use this on the sink I use this on the vanity I use this all over that and then this one which is the lavender one I spray this all over my kitchen on my counters on my stove in the sink um, Tyler even used it on the rug the other day and he said it worked really well so I've just been loving these they were like 250 each I believe so I'm gonna leave these linked down below because I love them and if you're into like dorky things like cleaners you'll be into it. Now we're gonna talk about food, which is obviously my favorite part. Normally I do the food in the beginning, but this time I just felt like doing it last. First thing I'm gonna talk about is actually not from Trader Joe's. This is something that Tyler picked up for me because I'm constantly like out the door running to work and if I don't have time to make myself lunch the day before or make myself lunch that day, I'll just grab one of these and these have been delicious and saving my life. These are the Healthy Choice Simply steamers. They come in so many different meals. Like my favorite one so far is the pesto veggie and like chicken pasta or something like that. All of them are under two or under 300 calories. Every single one of them. So it feels like like you're eating and you're eating something delicious and something with really really good flavor. I don't add any other seasonings or anything to this. I eat it just the way that it is. It has so much flavor. It keeps you satisfied, but it doesn't make you feel full because of the portion size. So like this is the one that I have here. It's Creamy spinach and tomato linguine. It looks freaking delicious. Um, nothing is artificial. This specific one is vegetarian and it's made with organic spinach and tomatoes. This one is 230 calories for this meal, which is awesome. Like you're eating this delicious thing for 230 calories. So I, he went and bought me like once I told him that I liked them, he went and bought me like seven of them. So my fridge is overflowing with them and I've only been eating these when I really just don't have time. I, Cause I'd rather like make my own food, but these have been so delicious. We found them at Publix and Walmart so far. It blew my mind how good these were, like delicious. Now for Trader Joe's stuff. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the Trader Joe's oven breaded cod fillets. And these are Alaskan cod fillets coated with batter and crispy breadcrumbs. So this is what it looks like, damn. It's like melting. This is what they look like and I am in love with these. These taste so good. They're nice and flaky. It's a really nice light fish and then the crispiness on it is just delicious. I have cut these up and put them in salads. I use them in tacos. I've cooked them by themselves with just like cauliflower rice and vegetables on the side. Like these are the truth. If you like seafood or you're just trying to like cut out harder meats or anything like that, I highly, 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 highly recommend these. And with these things, so I was looking for a sauce to like dip them in just because anything that's like breaded and crunchy like that, I like to dip it into stuff. And I had picked up this goddess dressing from Trader Joe's. I'm like almost out of, oh my god, I really, I should have picked it up today. I have like that much left. And this, with this, this kind of reminds me of like tartar sauce taste. It, oh, it just made my mouth water. Vegetable oil, water, tahini, 
um, apple cider vinegar, soy sauce, lemon juice, salt, garlic, sesame seeds, and spices. So it has the best flavor and it kind of tastes like a tartar sauce. I use um, this dressing with this right here. And I've used this as dressing as well and I like it, but I like it more with this. The Goddess Dressing from Trader Joe's. So I picked up these spicy jalapeno chicken sausage like links a couple of weeks ago and I've been using them in my scrambled eggs. Like I'll scramble some eggs, I'll take one of these links, cut it up and throw it in there just to kind of give my meal more like, I don't know, just like make it a little bit more filling and I have been loving these. I went through an entire pack of them and when I like do not have time, like I'm like, all right, I do not have time to make dinner. I don't have time to do anything or I don't have time to like cook something. I take one of these sausages, I cut it up, throw it in a pan, let them cook really quick and then I throw my scrambled eggs in and then I throw the sausage back in there and it's delicious. I love the way that they taste. These are spicy jalapeno ones um, and they have roasted red peppers in them and they are just so good. I really like them. I want to try another like flavor of them um, but so far I absolutely love these. The last thing I want to talk about are these pita chips. These are the Parmesan garlic and herb pita chips and these are baked pita bread chips seasoned with real Parmesan cheese, garlic and parsley and I've been eating these with hummus like that's how much is left. I love them. And it says that you can put them in salads and I kind of want to do that as well but I love these so much even by themselves but like, And they're so crunchy. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I had a lot that I showed you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed all of it. Um, I'll leave everything that I can linked down below. So you guys can check it out if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next video.